The title of our next presentation is Increasing Guardian Proteins Kill Lung Cancer Cells. Please welcome Guyon. The American Cancer Society estimates about 158,000 deaths due to lung cancer in 2015. More people die due to lung cancer than of breast, colon, and prostate cancers combined. What is more devastating, if someone is diagnosed with a stage 4 lung cancer, the survival rate is only 1%. That is why the lung cancer is one of the most dangerous cancer. So the question is, why not everybody gets the cancer and only few people get it? The answer is, all of us are born with class of protein molecule known as guardian proteins, and their job is to protect us from getting cancer every day. Unfortunately, in this lung cancer patient, these guardian proteins are killed by another class of molecule known as miRNA or microRNA. It has been shown by multiple studies in lung cancer patients. These killer molecules are overexpressed and they kill these guardian proteins and that is one of the reasons they got the cancer. But as a RNA biology lab, what we found out, there are two confirmation of these killer molecules under cell uh, cell cellular concentration of potassium ion. One look like this bobby pin, it facilitates the maturation of this killer molecule. Other one known as tetraplex, which inhibits the maturation of this killer molecule. We were the first to show this structural regulation and we already submit and publish this result in a high impact journal early this year. But we did not want to stop there. We wanted to fight against this mechanism. So what we did, we designed a third generation drug molecule known as lock nucleic acid which specifically bind with this tetraplex structure and inhibits the maturation of this killer molecule. So when we treat the lung cancer cells with this drug molecule, we observed we can decrease the level of this killer molecule and thereby we can increase the guardian protein expression. So once you have enough guardian proteins inside your cells, we can restore the self-defense mechanism of the cells against the cancer. Finally, when we treat these lung cancer cells with the drug, we could decrease the cancer cell growth almost up to 50%. I'm just showing one piece of data here, but each and every step of this diagram has been confirmed by multiple experiments, and we are almost ready to publish these exciting results. I would like to conclude my talk with the saying of a famous athlete who was diagnosed with cancer. He said, we have two options, emotionally and medically. First is to give up, second is to fight like a hell. As scientists, we want to fight like a hell, and that's what we do every day in our lab. Thank you very much for giving me this wonderful opportunity. <laughs>